What is up buddy, it is Ingy here, coming at you with another Halo 5 video. And in today's video, I'll be talking to you about everything that is coming in the new Halo 5 update, Infinity's Armory, which drops later this month. So guys, let's get into the video. So to start us off, we'll be getting three new sets of armor, the Achilles, the Atlas, and the Mark V Alpha. All of these look really cool, but I really want to get Achilles. But to get this, you will have to be in a Spartan company, and to get the armor, you'll have to hit rank 3 on all kill combinations. To get the helmet, you'll have to hit rank 5 on all combinations. And this applies to everyone in your Spartan company. So the smaller your Spartan company is, the easier this is going to be able to get. We're also getting two new maps. Riptide, which is a new arena map, which is basically a remake of Fathom. And Urban, which is a nighttime version of the Battle of Noctus for Warzone Assault. Also, we'll be getting a new legendary Halo 2 Battle Rifle. So after last month, we got the classic Halo 3 BR scope for our Battle Rifles, which is completely awesome. But now they're adding a classic Halo 2 Battle Rifle, which looks completely awesome. And I really want to get it. But knowing my rec pack luck, I will not get this until like next year. <laughs> This weapon can also be placed down in Forge. So if any of you have made any awesome classic Halo 2 maps, you can even add more nostalgia by adding the Halo 2 Battle Rifle. We are also getting two new Carbine Wrecks, the Reign of Oblivion and the Blood of Suban. The Reign of Oblivion is fully automatic and has extended mags, and the Blood of Suban fires needle shots and can super combine, which basically makes it the needle rifle from Halo Reach. We're also getting two new assassinations, wind up and stop stabbing yourself. We're also getting loads of new weapon skins, the R, uh, uh, which has sexy master chief on it and the lock and load, which has spicy lock on it. Both have really cool rainbow patterns and a really cool color scheme. You can also see here we are getting a weapon skin set called Prestige, an eagle camo called Old Abe and a wolf camo called Full Moon. We're also getting a Boomco AR skin and a Boomco Magnum skin. But one of the weirdest things, and probably my most favorite thing on this whole list, are these two skins, Last Slice and Lord of the Fries. One is a pizza skin for the AR, and the other one is a skin with chips or fries on it for you Americans, which both look completely insane, and whoever designed these is completely mental. These skins are uncommon, so they should be pretty easy to get. We're also getting a set of skins called Scratched. These have a really cool triangle design on them, and I've got a really cool color palette. We're also getting two new stances, Patrol and Center Mask. Patrol looks awesome, as you have the Halo 2 BR. Center Mask looks okay, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people still use it. We're also getting a load of new armors, so here they are. Atlas Unbound. Atlas Vigilant, Enforcer Strongarm, Gungner Dvalin, Infiltrator Saboteur, and Stalker Arrow. We're also getting a load of new Spartan tags, including a Boomco one, a Brute, a Teabag, and Crossed Swords, which is one of my favorite emblems ever, a Forge Monitor, and a Number 12. Not like we needed any more numbers, but, you know, they still gave it to us, so I'm not complaining. And finally, we have the Snake. Keeper of the Domain, King Ya, Ungoy, and finally our Visor Hypo Center. So tell me down in the comment section below what you guys think of this new update. Also, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe as we are nearly 150 subscribers. Also, make sure to hit that like button, show support. Let's try hit 7 likes again on this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you in my next one. Laters!